A fog shrouded the Appalachian range, leaving only the haunting glow of the dashboard to keep Tom company on the desolate road. The solitary trucker guided his hulking semi-truck through the eerily silent night, the faintly glowing gauges on his dashboard casting long ghostly shadows in the cabin. His only source of comfort was a bobblehead doll on his dashboard, its incessant nodding a rhythmic soundtrack to his journey. Suddenly the raw static of the CB radio cut through the silent cab. Tom leaned forward, an involuntary shiver running down his spine as he recognized the terror in the garbled voice, pleading for help. The voice spoke of a phantom creature materializing out of the fog, a sentinel trapping travelers in endless loops. He turned the volume knob, the radio crackled, and a chorus of desperate voices surged through the speakers. Each voice shared the same chilling tale of elusive escape attempts and endless circling. The bobblehead on the dashboard seemed to nod more fervently now, as if in acknowledgement of the voices. Fear nodded Tom's stomach, yet curiosity compelled him to investigate. He rationalized that he was their only hope in that desolate expanse their only beacon in the foggy void. As he ventured deeper into the range, the dashboard lights started flickering intermittently, mimicking the erratic rhythm of his heartbeat. Suddenly, the GPS attached to his dashboard started malfunctioning, its maps leading him in circles. His eyes darted between the glitching GPS and the road, each turn a replay of the previous one, each mile a photocopy of the last, the voices' warnings echoed in his mind, their despair now his own reality. A hideous silhouette, a grotesque fusion of asphalt and decaying flesh loomed ahead as the truck circled the phantom road. Tom's breath hitched in his throat at the sight of the creature as his dashboard lights flickered violently. The bobblehead on the dashboard seemed to grin wider, its nods more frantic as if it were alive. The radio buzzed again. But this time it was Tom's voice that rang from the speakers. His own pleadings echoed back, a grotesque mockery of his terror. His heart pounded in his chest, his blood a mix of adrenaline and raw fear. In a moment of desperation, Tom gripped his steering wheel tighter. He fixed his gaze on the creature, his expression hardened. His truck roared as he accelerated towards the abomination his dashboard light sparking with a sudden surge of speed. The creature dissolved into a whirlwind of fog and grit as the truck made contact. The dashboard exploded in a shower of sparks, casting an uncanny glow in the cab. The bobblehead doll jolted with the impact, its nods abruptly ceasing as the silence consumed the cabin. At the break of dawn, a rescue team discovered Tom's abandoned truck. The fog had cleared, and the road was as mundane as any road should be, devoid of any monstrous apparitions. The truck bore no sign of a crash except for the deep crack spider webbed across the dashboard, a testament to the previous night's horror. Nestled against the fractured dashboard was the bobblehead, its ceaseless, nodding a grim counterpoint to the eerie quiet around. It was oddly turned towards the driver's seat, the painted grin on its face wider than ever. As they explored the site, there was no sign of Tom. His belongings scattered inside the truck, his footprints swallowed by the dust. The only trace of him was his voice, endlessly echoing through their radios, repeating the same pleas he had broadcasted the previous night. A chilling realization dawned upon them, each shared glance a silent acknowledgement. The Phantom Road had claimed another victim, as if swallowed whole by the fog. They were left with nothing but the echoes of his pleas, the grinning bobblehead and the fractured dashboard. The bobblehead continued to nod, its ceaseless motion a stark contrast to the frozen tableau of the rescue team. It seemed to grin wider, almost gloating, its glass eyes reflecting the dull morning light. 
It nodded and nodded as if agreeing to the horrifying fate of its owner. As the rescue team retreated, leaving the forsaken truck behind, the radio buzzed once more. Tom's voice, forever trapped in the ether, echoed forlornly. The bobblehead moved in rhythm with the static-filled pleas, as if mocking the terror of its vanished companion. Back on the road, another trucker journeyed through the Appalachian Range. His dashboard, like Tom's, was illuminated with the eerie glow of gauges and meters, a bobblehead doll nodding along to his journey. As the fog closed around him, the faint echo of Tom's pleas traveled through the airwaves, a chilling prelude to the cycle about to repeat. In the echo of his voice, the phantom road waited, its monstrous sentinel hidden in the fog. The dashboard lights flickered, the bobblehead nodded, and the endless road stretched out, ready to entrap yet another victim in its cyclical nightmare. <laughs> 